Hey everyone, this is Steve from Open Bomb, and I'd like to show you how in three minutes or less you can create a fill material using Open Bomb from SolidWorks and get the right properties into your bomb. So I've installed the Open Bomb uh, add-in, SolidWorks add-in. I've opened SolidWorks and uh, I've opened Assembly. Gone to the Open Bomb settings, <clears throat> signed in with my account. And the key to getting the right properties into your bill material is to use a template. This is for Steve's Manufacturing Inc. I'm going to create a new template. And OpenBOM automatically grabs all the properties that it finds in these, uh, in these files. I just want a few. I want a part number. And uh, I want uh, I like to keep track of where my CNC centers are. And file name. And there's a few other things that I like to have. Uh, I like to get descriptions. There's a few other things I like to get my in my bomb that aren't here. I don't, I don't keep them in my parts. They are things like cost, calculated cost, which is sort of like the extended cost. And something else we do at my company is we keep track of location. Those are the things I want in every bomb that I create. And say save. I'm going to go ahead and save those settings and create a bomb. So far, we are a minute and a half in. Open bomb is dropping through my assembly, pulling out uh, the property values, generating thumbnails, and creating a bill material. And here we have it. And uh, open bomb bill material of the drone six with thumbnails, values that came out of my part files, and some additional values that I like to add to start keeping track of for each one of my one of my items. So there you have it. These will be persistent every time I make a change or update uh, this bill material from SolidWorks. All the values I've typed in here will remain. So. Uh, that's how you uh, that's how you use a template to generate a bill material with the proper uh, properties. Two and a half minutes. Enjoy.